Halloween season is here, which means haunted houses and plenty of ghost tales. Bench. Bench. Jesus. And one historic landmark in Cambria County opened its doors this year to bring history to the Halloween season. Tonight, we are at the Cambria County Prison. Smitty was held in a death row cell with enhanced security. No. I'm not gonna be able to hear the answer. His confinement constructed of steel bars within the cell and an additional heavy wooden door adding another barrier to the outside. I'm feeling footsteps around me. However, the night before his execution, he vanished. Theories about his escape are abundant. Some say his mother paid off multiple guards to allow him to exit peacefully. Others say he was and buried in the walls. No, fuck you, dude. What the? I can't see anything. YouTube, what is up? Paranormal Theory, tonight we are at the Cambria County Prison, the first group to professionally film here since Destination Fear in 2020. We are not alone. Brent as normal. Nick is normal. Let me introduce you to some friends. Here we have Emily from Residual Haunts. Hi guys. Bree, Spooky Happy Hour. Cheers. Make sure you watch the podcast we're on. That's right. And mm -hmm. Andrew from Rams Paranormal. What's up? We are about to do a packet read, give you all the information about this place, and then we're gonna get ghost hunting. See you then. The Cambria County Jail, also known as the Old Stone Jail. The Cambria County Jail was built of locally sourced sandstone and limestone in 1872. This Gothic revival style building was constructed in the middle of Evansburg, Pennsylvania, the county seat. The architecture resembles a castle, foreboding and looming, intimidating the inmates sent here. The most intimidating part of the jail isn't its castle-like structure, Gothic style architecture, or even the spirits inside. It's a subterranean section of the prison left absent from the original blueprints they call the dungeon. A place so sinister, some won't dare step foot on the stairs leading to its dark abyss. The dungeon is void of flooring. Only the damp earth lies beneath your feet. 20 cells are featured in the dungeon with 10 inch solitary windows, letting in the most minimal of outside light. It is without heat, at least 20 degrees colder than the rest of the facility, as well as the only section without plumbing. Inmates housed there via a trap door from the processing hallway were subject to heinously cruel and unusual punishment. The inmates barred here most likely died from dysentery or hypothermia due to its poor hygiene and lack of heat in the cold Pennsylvania winters. The most famous inmate, Michael Smitty Smith, was convicted of murder after a drunken night at the saloon ended in a fatal shootout on a cold August night in 1884. He was scheduled to be hanged in October the following year. Smitty was held in a death row cell with enhanced security. His confinement constructed of steel bars within the cell and an additional heavy wooden door adding another barrier to the outside. However, the night before his execution, he vanished. Theories about his escape are abundant. Some say his mother paid off multiple guards to allow him to exit peacefully. Others say he was and buried in the walls. Despite a statewide manhunt with a $42,000 reward in today's currency, Smitty's fate still remains a mystery and this coined his legacy as the man they could not hang. Although Cambria County Jail was a holding place for low-level offenders and those awaiting transfers to more secure facilities, it did see its fair share of violent convicts. <laughs> ran rampant in the jail as a result of lack of federal guidelines and safety precautions that exist today to ensure the inmates were safe from themselves and others. 11 executions were completed in the courtyard gallows. Two executions happened simultaneously in 1906. 500 tickets were sold to witness Jacob Hauser and Stephen Fellows hanged for their wives and other family members. Many wonder if their souls still linger throughout the four tiers that make up 87 jails inside the prison today. Part we've all been waiting for, paranormal accounts. Of the ghostly and haunted stories that almost all have heard in town, a few stick out more than others. Twin brothers Darcy and Dave Regala, former correctional officers turned sergeants, worked at the Old Stone Jail for 16 of their 31 years at the DOC. The brothers reported seeing a full-bodied apparition on the catwalk while on shift. The feeling of being watched was reported by the corrections officers 
and some especially would not enter the cafeteria alone on the third shift because of it. When a new officer came and had their own supernatural tale, the guards instructed them to ignore it and continue on with their duties. During its operation, women inmates in the dormitories reported a black silhouette that darted between their bunks in the middle of the night. Audible noises, screams, footsteps, and the whistling can be heard throughout each floor. Women report having their hair pulled, whispers in the ears, and an icy hand touching their shoulder or neck. <laughs> Since its grand reopening in the summer of 2024, few have entered the Cambria County Jail and all have exited to never be the same. Yo, it just f***ing said hi, Ryan! No shit, we did it. Dude, I, I haven't even had time to put my... Uh... I can't believe it said that. Alright. So you want to talk? We'll talk. So we really can't close this door. Right. Can't close it. Only that. There's no one first. Well, what we're doing is we're out here. We're going to be answering questions, and Ryan will be in Old Smitty's room doing an SS method. So we'll see what happens. Every. Can you tell us who's here with us? Who? Yes, who's here with us? All right, Smitty, if you're here, tell us what you wrote in your last note. He can hear. What do you say? He can hear. Yes, he can hear your voice. Hallway. Yes, we're in the hallway and we can hear you. Can you tell us what happened to Smitty? Was he Or did he escape? Noise? Smitty, can you tell me the names of another inmate that was here on death row with you? Help. Can you tell us? Don't the talk. Name? Do you want to talk to somebody else? Who is it that you're talking to? On the I didn't. I didn't. Are you saying that you're not guilty? Wrote or right? What are you saying? Wrote or right? Yeah. Yeah. About the right? yeah, wrote or... We just or... heard the noise to the right. No, I think he means like writing. Like writing. Yeah. What was the message you wrote? Guards? No, we're not guards. So you can talk to us. So we like talking about the writing of the notes. Mm -hmm. It could have been like not capture. Capture. So it's like the money. That was one of the theories was that his mom gave the guard money to not come to work that day. And then they would have let him exit. Yeah. Yeah. Hot. You? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Here's the Yeah. Who were you trying to haunt? Did you, just got, did you guys just walk in here? No. I'm not going to be able to hear the answer. Let's turn like a laugh. Are you trying to haunt Brian? I'm feeling footsteps around me. 
and I'm like, it's super cold. You're not allowed to touch Ryan. What does he breathe? I think he said pray. Like pray. literally right above you. <clears throat> Are you in the cell with Ryan walking around? If you're in there with Ryan, can you bang on one of the steel bars inside? What the f was that? That was the steel door upstairs, right above us. Was it talking about the growl or like a steel door? You'll be me. Or are you saying that we'll be prisoners? Touch. Dude, it literally said it, that she was gonna touch. I've been feeling footsteps all around me. Oh, my heart. And the bell is above you going off. <laughs> oh, the worst part about that was that I couldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like right up, like, because my shirt was open. Yeah. Because I'm sitting like this. Yeah. And I just felt like. Like this, like real soft. I f That's so weird though. That literally was just like that whole six session. This battery's about to die in here, Ray. Huh? The battery. battery's about to die on this. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so we got the music box. What it does for anyone who doesn't know, there's a sensor right here that detects motion and temperature. So it has to detect motion and temperature at the same time for this to chime. Your hand or your hand will obviously do it, but a light a shadow will not do it. So we had it pointing down this way. I'm gonna set a device here. You're welcome to come use it. The new guard to loud music. You walk in front of that. Down here, but below us. One at one point in time because like it was so overcrowded in here that the multiple beds that they had put in each one of these cells were actually making this floor sink in. And that was another reason why it was a safety hazard. And that's why they said, okay, like you guys are shut down for good. Why the hell are we up here? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, guess what guys? We are all clear. That we wasn't all on good. the tour. <laughs> that's why we're in the hallway because kids aren't in the cells. Yeah. <laughs> Who's excited to be here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Four stories up. <laughs> if you want to talk, you can talk here in this device I have in my hand. If you just want to know your story. You want to get our favorite device running, Nick? Yeah, I can jump into it. Which is what? Spirit Talker. Ah. As everybody knows, we're gonna start running Spirit Talker again. So put the phone on airplane mode like normal and get her start. Turn up the volume. This you device in my hand, you can communicate with me through it. It'll also help you manifest your energy. You can use the battery that's in this device and you can talk to me. You can say anything you want. Cook. Cook. 
Are you hungry? Is that what you're looking for? It's past dinner time. It's always dinner time. Not in jail. What did you do to be housed here? What crime did you commit? Can you make a noise to let us know what cell you're in? What's it? What did that say? Basement, Basement holds darkness. Oh boy. Dungeon. And that is the dungeon. We will be down there soon enough. Can you tell us where we're at? Secret found. Ooh. Secret found. Ooh. Secret. Deceit. Leg. Deceit. Hammer. Leg hammer. Oh. Ooh, what was that noise? Is it a secret? Why is it a secret where you're at? Are you feeling something, Nick? It, it, you know how like a like a, a bigger bug, like a bee or something, like buzzes through you. Hear that wool? Like I heard it just. Glennis. What's that? Glennis. Is that a name? What the hell is that? Do you spell it? G L Y N I S. Never heard of that word before. Never. No. And supposedly with a word generator, it must mean something of interest to the paranormal. Hey. Hey. Hi. That's the first time I ever got like just hey. hey. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. Normally like it's hello name. or something. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Hey, hey uh, what's your name? Can you tell us your name? My name's Emily. It's nice to meet you. My name's Nick. I'm Brent. I'm Bree. I'm Ryan. And I'm Andrew. What's yours? Were you given a name here? What did they call you in prison? Mm. It'd be super interesting if it gave us the, like a prisoner number. Yeah, that's what I was just that's what I was waiting yeah for. like a four digit number, number or something. Yeah. They normally do three digit. Is it three? Yeah, me and Nick's all think it was like three digits. No, that was wait. Oh, wait? Yeah, they oh. wanted wait by threes. I mean, there were a lot of like gang members here, so yeah. maybe they had like their own names that they came in with that weren't actually their given names. Here, I'm going to show you how this music box works. You move right in front of it. Look. You can do that. They'll let us know you're here. We got that at Norwich too. Dude, we've gotten it every. And you know what I think this is? I don't think it's Satan. I think it's yours. We're not gonna dive into him yet. <laughs> Showing up. I trust you. Oh. oh my gosh. Who do you trust? If that said your name, I would shit a brick. So would I, because like I said, it's supposed to be a word generator. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, Nick is wearing our new shirt. Oh, yes. We got our ghost on the back right there. Go ahead, give him a little spin there, Nick. And new logo. Wow, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Prisoner, Fresh meat. Prisoners, he dropped the soap. No touchy. No touchy. Look at that piece of meat. Fresh meat. He's thick and hairy. <laughs> Oh, I thought that you said. Are limitless. So you are limitless. <laughs> Nick was so dancing, and Spirit Talker said, "You are limitless." <laughs> <laughs> so many, so many talents. <laughs> oh, oh. We got the red go. <laughs> That's the best evidence we're gonna catch all night. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Andrew, walk in. Oh. Oh, he was in the cell. <laughs> that man's like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Can you knock back? Can you do what I do? Harmony. 
Harmony. You know what's weird? When you were doing that, I yeah, swear I heard knocking thing. almost at the same time. I don't know if it was an echo. Mm -hmm. At the same time down this way, and then that said Harmony. That's what I was just about to say. Like they're almost doing it together? together. Yeah, that, that was weird. You may try it again? Yeah. Can you knock again with me? Dude, that was like boot steps. That was like yeah. footsteps. Like that was the footsteps. loudest footsteps I've yeah. ever heard. I got chills. Uh, so did I. But I actually that was immediately Peter? thought that I thought Brent was walking from yeah. me at first. Yeah, that literally no, sounded three. like. Was it three? Yeah. Was it three? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I did three knocks. Peter, was that you? Obvious, just said Peter. One more time. Can you knock again or walk again? Steps were too. <laughs> Why should we not go down there? What down here? That, well, that's where the footsteps came from. So we're thinking maybe it's saying don't go down there. Don't come down. Just watch. Down. Just watch the music box. <laughs> don't step on that one. <laughs> <laughs> step on a cap wall, not the music box. <laughs> All right, I'm down here. Why can't I come down here? What's gonna happen to Brent? Brent, walk around the bullpen. As northern. What does that say? As northern. This is north as I can get. Oh, is it talking about a direction? It says northern. What happens if he walks through that door? Ooh, what if it was like don't go down there? It's like where to like where not to go down, and it's like northern. What the f is that? Was that that was a that that was? Oh, Shh, there's running. Shh. I just heard running. Yeah, I no, I heard what you heard, Brent, but then it happened over here. Can you come down here with us? Opposite. Opposite. It happened here and then it hopped in on the opposite exactly. side. Can you touch that red light? I thought I heard him running. No, that was weird. I heard what Brent heard because I seen him back up, but then that's when I heard over here, like, like running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. I heard him, like, backstepping, but I don't know if, because he's on metal grates, so I don't know if it just suddenly sounded different. Brent, like, walk backwards. See, now that echoes down that. Yeah, no, this was over here, and it was like. Hey, Brent, walk, walk like forward through. Like, how far did you walk into the door there? Into the Yeah, like, how far did you go? Right here. Okay, now walk back. No. No, it so wasn't the same noise. Yes. Hmm. These, these were like thuds, and they yes, were yes, like I over here. But I, but you heard stuff back. Yeah, like way. running. I mean the the so the noises behind us would make sense though, right? Because at a prison, what are they gonna like do when they try to hurt you? They're trying to like sneak attack yeah. you. Yeah. So that would make sense why we're getting a lot of noises behind us, especially running. Uh -huh. Well, also. I mean, that is prison culture, and like once you recognize it, they're like, okay, you yeah. get it. Yeah. And that's like a corner there, too, right? Yeah. Like backed into a corner. Yeah. But seeing the thing is, is that it's also like we're looking that way, like making a noise. So it's almost like somebody's making a distraction down there and they're trying to get out. Mm -hmm. right. We're gonna get wrecked in the rec room. Or nap. Don't drop the soup. We're dropping it. We're gonna drop it together at the same time. Right. If it gets me some type of action, I'll drop it all day long. I'll drop anything to get some kind of that action. That way. Wait a minute. Good luck. All right, boys, we'll see ya. Yep. Okay, so we are in duos. 
It is me and Bree. You got Nick and Andrew down in the rec room. So this is the rec room. Uh, this is where they all came down and hung out. Looks empty. <laughs> You're gonna have to make a noise or talk to us if you want us to stay. I understand you. So yeah, we're just here to talk. That's all we're here to do. We just want to know your story and more about you and who you were. If there's anything you want to tell us or say, you can just talk through that thing right there. Through that uh, thing right there. It'll just shut off. Yep. It'll turn off and then it can turn back on. Mm. All right. It's just me and uh, Bree up here by ourselves. Who else is up here? Can you knock if you can see us? Medicine. Do you need medicine? I'm not a nurse, but do you want me to call one for you? Okay, so, so Andrew and I are down in the... What is this? The, I think this is the recreation area. Yeah, recreation. So we're downstairs underneath the bullpen. Pretty much the area where they would all hang out. So we'll see if anybody is still hanging out. To any spirits that are down here, want to come hang out with us and talk? We got a lot of devices down here that you can use. We got this green light here that you can walk up to. You can set it off. Like that. We got our REM pod over here. You get close to the antenna, it'll change colors. You guys know the dead bell very well. And then we have the music box up at the front by the stairs, just in case if anybody comes walking down, we'll know. Can you walk up to this red light? But it's not like a big air flowing here or anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. If that's you, can you actually go up and touch that so it changes colors? And I just changed battery in that this morning. Okay. It's a fresh battery. You don't have to be scared of us, we're your friends. It's very nasty here. I know the conditions weren't good here. Yeah, we hear they weren't the best. We're very sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, you didn't deserve that. Can you tell us what you did that put you in here? Right there. So it lights up cool, you can knock it over. There's these cool lights. You can come near that. I told you, dude. Mm hmm. Explain that. Can't. No. That hasn't no rhyme or reason that, to any of it. That hasn't gone off all night, and it's just it's it's like when you're not looking at it and you're kind of walking, it's something's trailing you, and the music box is picking up on that. Oh, 
Did it just give you a name? It just said hall. Hall? Oh, I thought it said Paul. In the hall? You're, you're in the hall? It was funny because when we were looking earlier about which direction we were looking, it was, we were trying to find north, which was the other way. Yeah. But west was the direction that we were actually looking. <laughs> Did somebody walk down here? Did you come join us down here? Did you do that again? Did you step? Sift. Hmm. Could you walk in front of that music box again so you know you're here? <clears throat> Just, uh, I had a bad past. Hmm. That's probably why he's disgusted. What was your past? Medicine alone. My ashes are here. I saw like a shadow. Mm -hmm. Like come this way. But I'm trying to see. What that could have been. Well, oh, hold on. I'll move. You see your only... family. Is that you? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm moving right now, so I don't know if you could see. Nah, that's shadow. not. That's not with that. So I don't know. It's like, did you see your own shadow? I don't know. Maybe I did. But see, your shadow's that way. The shadows are me. Holy shit. Wow. Dude. <laughs> that's, that's insane. <laughs> Is that you we're talking about up there? Did I see you? Did I see your shadow? Jones. So I yes. talked about seeing the shadow. Yeah. And then we're trying to figure out what it was, and it came up and said the shadows are me. Yep. And then it moved another like, call. Well, I was going to ask, like, who are you? And then it said Jones. How old were you? I'm only eight. I'm only eight. <gasps> oh my gosh. Were you the one that likes toys and music? We should have brought that bear. Please, you. Yeah. Thank you. Another way, can you uh, step up, can you step back for, from him? Yeah. Can you step back? Thank you. I keep you so somebody is, was eight in here. Because it's a civil war. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. What's your name? I like playing games. Do you like playing games? Activity. Appreciate it. If you like knocking, we can ask you yes or no questions and you can answer with knocks. If you're okay with that, can you knock for me? There's tapping. making the music box go off. You can you can keep playing with it. Can you finish the sequence of knocks? Be careful. Is knocking not allowed? We we were just knocking.
What should we be careful about? I'm feeling this way. I want to see if we can get that to pin. Morgue. 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 Okay, so maybe like be careful where you end up in the morgue. Like. Well, I mean, I can see if you're in cells like this with people all the time and people do like just annoying shit whether it's like hum or sing or knock well, who or knows, tap knocking or could be a way of communication for them too yeah it could be that's crazy that that music box was going off it hasn't done anything all night and it's weird too because there's some places we'll go to mm -hmm. and that music box will not do anything ever and then there's places where we have to turn it off because yeah, they just won't stop every time we've come up here we've had one like position somewhere and it has not gone off no. at all. And we were in the same place. Mm -hmm. We had it there. We actually had it down here. So it like knows that you're watching it. So this is where Brent was and he heard that weird noise. Shut up. Don't dude. Ooh, it's, go it's mm -hmm. going. I wonder if it would, if like we don't pay attention to it when we hear it and just like don't give it the time of day, if it'll just keep going and going mm. until we. Come over here. <laughs> That's wild. Badly. It's like they want us to notice. I have the chills all over. I don't think they want you to notice. Watch, I'll put my head over and see if it stops. Mm -hmm. Did you want our attention? You have it. All right, look, if we, hold on, stop. Hers. Stop real quick. Hers. Let's use this to talk. If you're a male, can you make it go off? Are you a female? I'm telling you, it like, it recognizes you're watching and it's like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. It's like very toying. Okay, so you guys obviously see it's not going off right now. Let's come around the corner. I remember you. Yeah, we've been here all night. I was here last weekend. Do you remember me from that? Do you know my name? going on. <laughs> I really feel like somebody's like, just, mm -hmm. like I can just feel it. Yeah. Like that presence that's there. I always tell people, I'm like, I'm like the feelings that you're feeling, like there's a reason you're feeling that. Mm -hmm. It's not just you like psyching yourself out. That's like built into you since like caveman days for survival. Right. Where you feel like something's watching you, probably is. Go ahead. Can you, yeah, can you make it keep playing? I'll stay here. Saw torture. Yeah, I bet. We heard this was a pretty nasty place to be. What did you see here? 
Were you tortured? If you didn't like it here, can you make the music box go off? Just to let you guys know too, a flashlight will not make a music box go off. It needs motion and a temperature fluctuation at the same time, which makes that even more unbelievable that it's been going off. Like, look at it like when there's no lights, right? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously you have my right. camera light, but. Can you move the music box quickly? <laughs> you do right on command. It just doesn't want to give you information. Hmm. But only when it wants to. But I mean, all that stuff in a prison makes sense. Like they're I was not going to say the same thing. It's like they're going to want to let you in on what they want to let you in on and yeah. keep everything else a secret. Yeah. It's just neat that like we come there down here to hide from the music box, and it's like. Something's coming around the corner and it's like, it sees a flashlight and it's All like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so then like, if we come down here, is it going to do it? Bench. 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 Jesus. What the f I saw something moving. Down here? I saw a white mist. Bro, I swear to God. Bench. I don't know if I got it. Did Ryan just see a white mist? I saw it right here. Did it you went... hear something though at the same time? I, yes, I heard okay. the big thud, which made me like turn around like this. And when I shined my flashlight, I saw a white mist go from like right here, like past this way. Cause I heard the noise. That's why I thought you jumped back. Well, yeah, the noise made me jump, but then I noticed there was like a Got white you. mist that just went. That's footsteps downstairs. And it sounded like that cell rattled. Smith. Is that Michael Smitty Smith? Is that who we're talking to? Smitty, are you here? Whoever's been communicating with us using the music box. What? <laughs> Did you know Smitty? Can you tell us this? Did Smitty disappear and escape or was he? All right. Well, as you can see with my dumb little flash shadow made, um, we're getting ready to do our final solo in Cambria County Prison. So stay tuned. And wait for the lucky sap who's gonna be soloing up. All right, it is the end of the night and it's time to go ghost. If you don't know what that is, we have six little ghosties in here. One of them has an X. We will all draw. Whoever gets the X will be doing the solo in the bullpen. The twist is, they will have ghost tube on their face. We've never tried Ghost Tube with a solo, and I think this place would be a perfect spot to try it. And also, anyone who is in our videos also gets automatically put into it. So, you three winners over here. I think I'm pushing at you. I'm gonna be in the solo. <laughs> All right. Huh. It's like, ha ha. Since I did the last solo at Norwich, the rule is that I get to pick the order. I'm gonna shake up. I want Nick drawing first. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Peek. 
No luck. Oh, I can't get my fingers in there, so I have yeah, to Yeah, like, no, we need a bigger bag. All right, so, by the way, when you pick it, don't look at it. Oh, gonna hold, so we all get to find out together. Yeah, you're going to hold it in your hand, and then you're going to, like, open yeah. your hand at the same time. And That's your side goes on the palm. Yeah. Um, I'll go second. Bold move. I know. Big time player. It's going to I know it. Okay. Uh, Emily. Oh, God, Jesus. Remember, no looky. <laughs> That one. <laughs> if I get it and you just put that in my hand, I swear. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the fates have played before. Uh, Brent next. What side is Palma? It's going to be the flat side. The flat side's going to be up. Yeah. Okay. So you want the texture in your palm. Uh, I'm not looking, I'm just fixing it. <laughs> I want you to go next. I don't want the birthday girl to have a choice. She's just going to get the last one. what I get? Usually when I go last, I usually get it. <laughs> but I just have this weird feeling that I just have yeah, it. Because yeah. it happens to me. Yeah. All the time. Oh. So, okay, you go away. Go ahead. Go get. Surprise, is it? Okay. All right. All right. So everyone come together. Be together. <laughs> All right. I'm so the flat on. side's going to be up. Yeah, flat side. Yeah. Yep. Um, Right. We're looking for an X. There's, a, there's an X on one <laughs> yeah, of them. I'm not looking for there's an X. There's a black X on one of them. Here we go. All right, one, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> well, I told you, like, I don't want her to have a choice because usually when a person goes last, they pick it. Yep. I don't know what it is. We survived. We survived. We survived. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> Goes to free. Happy birthday! Happy, happy Just birthday. not like a regular solo. <laughs> have to have a little bit of a no, twist, it's a you know. One. We'll see you up there. If there are any spirits here of former inmates, now I kind of know how you feel. I'm locked in here with nowhere to go. It's either the wind outside or that cell door on the very first floor rattling. I can hear footsteps coming up the stairs to my right. It's really been a lot of residual energy, I think, since we've been here. Like people making their rounds and checking in on cells and going floor to floor to floor. All of like the static too, it's just super trippy for your eyes. Hi, are you here to check in on me? I'll be here for a little while. I have a device on my face, it might look really funny, but you can use your energy and make a picture for me and I can see what you want me to. All right, it's too blurry, I can't really make it out. It honestly looks like 
cells under a microscope and now I see like fire like burning. Was there a fire here? I don't think I've read about a fire at the Cambria County Jail, but. So you're here with me. Is there another picture that you can show me? Use your energy just a little bit more and make it clearer. And I feel like this picture is so weird. Like there's. I'm sure you guys heard that. Those bangs coming to the left of me. And again. It sounds like a door shutting. several bangs. And now it's coming from the opposite end. It's the same thing Ryan and I were hearing above on the uh, fourth tier like we are right now. Another picture's incoming. I don't even know what shape that is. It reminds me of like a sculpture that you would see in an art museum. Every time I get a picture, or every time one was trying to come up, the bell would ring too. What are you trying to show me? I know, you're really trying. Each time I hear the bell ding, I also hear a noise downstairs. It looks like what maybe would be like a dining room. See, every time I get a picture, the dead bell rings. It looks like a dining room. There's a vase and a picture. Or it would look like something in, like maybe the warden's office had something like this. It just looks like a home. Was this your home? That I'm seeing right now? There's no way that that's not them. Guys, if that's you, please don't. <laughs> That sounds like somebody just drug an entire table. Dings and here we are. Looks like a road trip, like a really old car. There's like a figure there, but I can't make out what that really is. Looks like it's in the desert. hearing constant noises. That door over at the end of the hallway on the right, I felt like somebody was banging on it. not heard this many noises the entire night that I've been here at one time it's just one right after another after another I'm 
Was that like a shot glass? That's what it looks like to me. Kind of looks like a jello shot with a banana in it. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? starting to fall asleep and get numb. There is no way that's not them. Like it is nonstop. Steps down the hallway to my left. There's bangs to my right and bangs to my left. I don't know why I'm like, it reminds me of a scorpion kind of in the way that it's trying to like form and move. There is no way that that is not them. Is that a spirit making those noises? It sounds like someone's dragging a table across the ground. Can you show me a picture of what happened to you? to be them packing up already. Like there's no way that's a spirit. I am pretty far away from them in the bullpen though, from where we set up base camp. So if that is them, the sound is traveling very far. It is so weird for sensory deprivation because you almost need to picture yourself looking at yourself. And I mean, at least that's what I do. It's like I picture being outside of my body and looking at myself and if I hear a noise or I hear a sound, like it's almost like I look outside of my body to see where it's from. Like something's telling me that there is something on the right. You're confirming, thank you. Well, those look like bricks that make up this jail. When the image was first forming, it kind of looked like a jail cell with all the different inch by inch small little areas, but now it looks like a brick wall. are so cold. Are your fingers cold too? Do ghosts get cold? Or do you just make other people cold? That was me myself. I literally feel someone touching the top of my head. Like right here. You did not have permission to touch me, so that was you. 
Okay. You do not have permission to touch me. You can stand in front of me. You cannot touch me. Such an odd picture. Footsteps to my right. And it keeps changing. Shut the f up. Those were the loudest footsteps and they were closest that I've heard. Those are on this floor, to my right. Thank you for confirming that. And I heard it again, and I just got a picture of someone shooting a gun. Like looking like they're at the range or something. Now before, the sounds were coming from all around me and now they're just really centralized to my right. And that's where earlier Ryan and I were playing a game of kind of hide and seek with the spirit here. Again, thank you for confirming that. Were you here because you shot someone? Did you murder someone? You ding the bell twice, was that no? Was it self-defense? It was self-defense. All right, that is it for the night. Cambria County Prison, done uh, for me. This place had some of the loudest footsteps I've ever heard. Um, definitely haunted to me. What about uh, what about you guys? Yeah, definitely the footsteps and sounding like things were really tossed when we were downstairs in a dungeon. They always crazy, you know, when they're inside the bullpen, any little noise that echoes around. It's different floors that's doing it, so you don't, you only know it's coming from one side. On top of that, it always felt like it, something was behind you. Yeah. And like sneaking up on you and, and like me and Bree, when you, you guys have obviously seen it, like you've made it this far, <laughs> but it was just like the music box would go off and then we would turn the corner to look at the music box, it would stop. Go back around the corner, starts again, so. But it makes sense, it was a prison. And uh, speaking of that, we would like to thank Emily and Bree for joining us. Thank you. What would you ladies think? Oh, it was great. Scary? Kind of fine, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we heard you run into a door. Yeah, I did run into a door. So, I also ran down a couple I'll make sure to make stairs. that a YouTube short. <laughs> what about you, birthday girl? Um, it was a wonderful way to ring in year 34. And I don't really appreciate the uh, being like toyed with. I feel like I couldn't figure it out. And so for me, it's like now I have a bunch more questions than answers. And one of those questions is, what's your theory? It's a good way to end it. We'll see you at Madison. <laughs>